This is a demonstration of a prototype measurement system consisting of a $10 Harbor Freight digital caliper, $20 processor called an Arduino, and a $16 display. When I first power it up, it's going to show me the version number. And right now the jaws aren't moving. As I open the jaws, the software is trying to record what was the local minimum that uh, it saw. Now since it just powered up, uh, the first reading isn't too meaningful because it doesn't know what was the, the local minimum was before it powered up. So let's ignore that first reading. You can see though that the reading that it did take, which is the, the uh, 17 and a half thou, uh, it's locked in position. And it's going to stay locked until I move at least a tenth of an inch to the right. So when I open the jaws to 0.1175, I will leave the lock mode. So it's like an automatic hold, or as long as I don't move the jaws more than a tenth of an inch, more than the reading, it'll just stay put. Now notice, at all times I'm displaying half of the reading below it. Uh, if I'm measuring a diameter, then that's telling me the radius at all times, rounded to the nearest half a thou. So I'm going to open the jaws now, and it switched to looking for a local maximum. This would be used for an inside diameter. When I change direction and go back, it locks in that local maximum. And you can see that the local maximum was 0 0.4590. Uh, the caliper right now is reading less than that, and I have the reading is locked. Go down, back out again, and it locks in that reading which is a local minimum. Here I have a uh, spacer block that's 700 thou. You can see that it's 699. But uh, the local minimum was actually 6985. We can do that again. And this time they happen to agree. So it's constantly looking for a local min and max, and it's going to lock in that reading as long as I don't move too far away from it. Now in the upper right hand corner is a little circle, and that indicates that none of these measurements are being taken with calibration tables being uh, available. And in the next video I'll show you how adding calibration tables improves the accuracy of this. But as it stands, it uh, will pick up the local min and max and that can be handy like for instance here on this three, three quarter inch drill rod you can see that I didn't even I, I don't have to get it exactly perpendicular I just have to sweep through the range and I was able to measure 0.7495 uh, even though I intentionally didn't try to get it square it's taking a reading uh, every about eight times a second. So it is quite capable of finding uh, the, the minimum or maximum as you sweep through that range. So this is the end of the first video. The next one is going to show calibration. Thank you.